Good morning, everyone. And welcome to the celebration of our Eucharist. Shall we begin our celebration today? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, then all of you and all of the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thank Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we are called children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be 
messes in the economy and the lifestyle of the time. In our urbanized and technological world, it ranks up there with repairmen and cobbler as a profession, as a professional in demand. There is still a need for skills and experience, but in no way is the need for shepherds anything like it was at the time of Jesus Christ. Yet the image of the shepherd remains popular. i 
so we pray for our hope, for all bishops and all leaders of the church. May God guide them in their efforts to shepherd his people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may God help them to see whom they serve with the eyes of Christ each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and those worried about the health of loved ones, may the Lord protect them from all needless anxiety and bring them health of mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit help us and guide us to hear the shepherd's voice always in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have died, mark the sign of faith. May they experience the fullness of joy with God and all of our saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For William Joseph Giovanni, this Mass is being offered today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pause now in the silence of our hearts and at our own personal intentions. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and works of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for heaven. By the strength of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who will humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and comrade hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me. All of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, Amen. and the words of the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant we pray, O Lord that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise towards eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to all of the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has arisen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are from your glory. O Son of the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of You are indeed holy, O Lord. 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which were not for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Leonard, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, William, whom you have called from this world to yourself, where that William, who is united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And at our Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ truly bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, now bring us to judgment and condemnation 
but through your loving mercy, give us protection, mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter on thy roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and 
and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep that you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. The art of death against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust him to help Satan and all of evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, in the gospel we hear the voice of the Father telling us to listen to you. It is your voice that we heed, it is your way that we follow, it is your spirit who leads us into all truth. Look kindly upon your church in the Archdiocese of Hartford, and upon the work of our Archdiocese and Synod. We pray that through the Synod our souls may be stirred, and our hearts set on fire in order to enter into new energy and zeal for the mission of our local church. May the Synod inspire us to missionary discipleship, so that filled with the faith and the boldness of the Apostles and those first Christians, we may draw others to you into your body and bride, the Church. At Pentecost, Mary, your mother, joined the Apostles in informing the gifts of the Holy Spirit by your prayers to those first spouse, St. Joseph, our patron. May the same Holy Spirit inspire and direct us in the work of our Synod. Through you, Lord Jesus, we give glory to the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you, sir. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, our Max has ended. Thanks be to God. Have a beautiful day. Stay well and stay safe. And just as a reminder, we've been sitting. Just place your kneelers down so that we can sterilize those pews before our next Mass. Have a great day.